Hello everyone, let us see about the greater momentum today. The greater momentum is the largest peritoneal fold present in the peritoneal cavity. So when we see the greater momentum, it mainly extends from the greater curvature of the stomach till the transverse colon. It is mainly made up of four layers. So one by one we will see. The first layer is mainly derived from the greater sac which comes from the anterior surface of stomach and hangs down and covering the intestine part. Whereas the second layer which comes from the posterior surface of the stomach and it will hang down covering the small intestine. So this is mainly derived from the lesser sac. So what happens the first and second layer they will fold upon themselves and they themselves will continue as a third and fourth layer which will go and attach to the posterior abdominal wall by running above the transverse colon. So when you see from the side, so the first layer only will continue as the fourth layer which is derived from greater sac and second layer continues as a third layer which is derived from the lesser sac. So after puberty this second and third layer will fuse and only a part of cavity which is behind the stomach will remain. So this part will be the lesser sac. So the cavity which is behind the stomach is the lesser sac. So the communication between the greater sac and the lesser sac, greater sac is the one which is anterior to the stomach, lesser sac is posterior to the stomach. Only communication between the greater sac and lesser sac is the epiploic foramen. So this is the lesser momentum which forms the anterior wall of the epiploic foramen. So if I put my hand inside, so I am passing through the epiploic foramen and this cavity one which is behind the stomach is nothing but the lesser sac.